We begin tonight with the appointment of a new Chief Justice for the Philippines. Justice Justado Peralta takes the helm of the Supreme Court. Marlene Alcaide with the story. I'm not the top notch. Eh? I'm not an honor student. But I, I think I was able to compensate. <laughs> Did you work that I've done? These were the words of then applicant for the Chief Magistrate Post Associate Justice Justado Peralta. In his interview with the Judicial and Bar Council, Peralta admitted to a lackluster record as a student, but he says he's more than made up for it. Perhaps the third time's the charm for Peralta. He applied for Chief Justice twice in the past, and on Wednesday, the President officially gave him the job. The Supreme Court has officially received a copy of the appointment papers of Gustavo M. Peralta as 26th Chief Justice of the Philippines. Among the bets gunning for the post, Peralta is the most senior. He's been with the Supreme Court for more than a decade now. The Luwag Ilocos Norte native graduated from the University of Santa Tomas, Faculty of Civil Law. He started as an assistant prosecutor in his hometown. In 1988, he was assigned to the prosecutor's office in Manila before becoming a regional trial court judge in Quezon City. In 2002, he was promoted to the Sandigan Bayan and later went on to be its presiding justice in 2008, a year after he joined the High Tribunal, its 102nd Associate Justice. Some of his key decisions include convicting former President Joseph Estrada of plunder when he was at the Sandigan Bayan. Peralta also voted to former Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno and voted to keep Senator Laila de Lima in jail. But one of Peralta's more controversial rulings was allowing the burial of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos at Libinga ng mga bayani, a decision that Peralta defended during his interview. Do you think uh, the Filipinos found closure? I hope that issue has already been buried, Your Honor, because if we do not bury that issue, then uh, we cannot move on. Peralta will serve as Chief Justice of the High Court until his retirement on March 27, 2022. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, We Are One News.